uh, as I establish an executive team uh, for me. And I don't know, because I don't have experience outside of my own business in establishing a vice president of operations or a COO or a vice president of sales and whatever. And that's what I call an executive team. So uh, what I have found for me is I need people who are good at three things. And frankly, it's hard to find people that are good at all three of these things. Nobody's great, perfect at all of them, but three buckets. One, I need that executive team member to be able to find and spot where there's lacking system and process or where there's needed uh, improvements to a system and a process. And they can actually build it. They can not only see it, they can build the system out. They can then execute on that system. That's the second bucket. Can they execute on the system and process? A lot of people can build it, but they can't execute on it. That was me, by the way. I can build it all day long. I'm just not very good at executing it. So they got to build the process, execute the process, and most importantly, and the hardest part, is the accountability of the process. Holding the team accountable to the process that's been built after it's been executed over the long haul, over the course of months, year, and years. Uh, they've got to be able to do all three of those things to be on an executive team. If you're, if you're 